Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we are going to be talking about my favorite reads of 2021. So, like I said, we're going to be talking about my favorite reads of 2021, but before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that like button because I already know you're going to like this video. I mean, it's my favorite books of, of last year in May, I think, when this video is posted, I think. Don't judge me. Okay? Um, so, I've got, let's see, two pages... I've got nine books on this list, okay? Nine books. I'm not really going to go into them. Um, I just kind of wrote down some short and sweet things about them just to kind of pique your interest, but I'm not really going to go into these books, okay? So, in no particular order, just I guess it's kind of like in reverse order of when I read them because I was just going through my Goodreads and writing them down. Um, so, let's get started. <laughs> these were all of my five star reads from last year I had nine five star reads from last year so none of these are four stars they're all five stars for me first of all Dinner Vipers by K.A. Knight yes I know this was a hyped book for last year it's still a hyped book around some reading communities I didn't even know it was a hyped book I literally stumbled upon it on Amazon and I was like oh this sounds so good like let me get it and then I was talking to Steph to stuff about it and she was like yeah it's like all over Twitter and I was like oh <laughs> and all over Instagram I was like shit <laughs> I haven't been on those things okay I'm sorry so <laughs> so I didn't know I I didn't know I I was behind I'm sorry nothing new there but anyway it is a reverse harem book um, there are tons of trigger warnings in this book. Tons. Just tons. Like, look them up before you read it. I'm going to give you some some key ones. Um, this is a dark, a dark romance, okay? Um, so we're looking at dubious consent. There's dubious consent. I don't think there's inconsensual sex. There's kidnapping. But I don't think there's non-consent like 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 cold hard non-consent I don't think so but there's dubious consent definitely which is like that gray area where like where like you are lucky that you are reading the character's mind because they're really like okay no this is fine like I'm cool but they're really like no 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 on the outside they're like nah like I kind of want it like I just kind of want to fight with them and see what happens like yeah so that's kind of what dubious consent is there's blood play guys there's blood play it gets a little violent it's a little violent blood play and BDSM but I drank it up and I already told you it was dark but it's so good so good also I was told during a live not to use the term reverse harem, so I am sorry I am using it. No, Pin Pin, you stay over there. Go back sleep or go back outside with your brother. Oh. No, don't, don't bring those eyes over here. Thank you. Um, I was told not to use reverse harem or that reverse harem is the inappropriate term to use. Because it has negative, um, negative segmentation, of course, of a regular harem. Because um, we were talking about this in a live one night. And then I forgot, I honestly forgot which phrase we're supposed to use. Because then we talked about the whole, well, wouldn't it still be a harem if someone is taken against their will into a harem? Like, like it's still... Like, reverse harem isn't necessarily a positive phrase most of the time in a reverse harem book. Like, because then we were talking about, they are like, I think that they were saying you should use polyamory, but in a lot of reverse harem books, the start of the novel is not a polyamorous relationship. It is someone being taken against their will into a group situation. So I don't remember which phrase I should use, so I'm sorry if, when I continue to use reverse harem. Please just let me know kindly down in the comments so I can write it down. Okay? 
Um, the next one was The Passion of Hades, which is the Hades trial number two. For those of us like me who likes to read things in order and you have to read this book in order, they are not standalones. Um, by Eliza Rain. It is part of a series of Hades and Persephone retelling. Um, basically she is, she grew up human. She has no memories of a past life. And then all of a sudden she's swept into this world of the gods and Mount Olympus. And she's like, WTF is going on? Who in the world do you think I am? And yeah, that's what happens literally. Um, but I really enjoyed the story. Um, you know, I'm not always a trial, a person who likes to read about trials. I think because I'm highly competitive and I'm, and I have anxiety that sometimes when like they're done really well, it sparks my anxiety to where I'm like, I just can't read you right now. But anyway, I'm not explaining it well, but I enjoyed the Hades trial books. They were super quick. It was recommended to me, um, by a coworker and yeah, it was super quick. Just just go down the rabbit hole okay credence by penelope douglas this can go back and forth for anybody so people are like are you special like this has so many triggers like okay there's definitely a lot of trigger warnings for this one there is non-consensual sex um there's some violence i think i don't remember but it's dark there's age gap like, honestly, when you start actually digging down into the plot of Credence, it makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> but when you just kind of let, when you just kind of go with the flow with it, like this is one, don't look at it too closely, okay? But when you just go with the flow of this book, you'll love it. You'll love it. But if you start going down the plot lines of this book, you're like, is she stupid? Like, is she really stupid? Is she, is she, does she have Stockholms? Like, I okay, can't, like, I, <laughs> just enjoy it. Don't think about the plot too much. Just enjoy it. It's, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Well, they're like are you sure she's a reader <laughs> shut up um so the next one was sweet obsession crap i didn't write down the author see this is why i just read things off of goodreads see if i read it off of goodreads you can't yell at me about it is it sweet obsessions by callie rose okay this is ruthless games number one this series is good. I haven't read the final, final series, which, um, which the final, final book in this series, which doesn't make me sad because both one and two end on cliffhangers, y'all. Like, these are not wrapped up in happily ever after. <laughs> these are not happy for now. These do not get wrapped up in that at all. So, I don't understand, like, that's what's supposed to make a romance. <laughs> I don't really know what category this goes in. But the first one and the second one does not wrap up in Happily Ever After or Happy For Now. <laughs> um, there's really no true trigger warnings for for this. No SI, no HI. Okay, that's not true. There's plenty of HI. There's a whole killing game involved. Um, and... Actually, is there SI? You know what, now I really don't remember. So you guys are gonna have to look that one up. But there is disability rep. Our main female character did get shot. It's in like the first 10 pages, it's not a spoiler. She did get shot and with that afterwards, she lost her arm. So, there is disability rep. This is a polyamorous, this will become Let's say will become this will become a polyamorous relationship. I would say that's not a spoiler either because you can get the vibes kind of right off the bat. Okay, you get the vibes. Um, but it's so good. Maybe it's because it ends off on a cliffhanger. Maybe because like you just didn't know that this was happening and like going on. But I enjoyed it. 
I don't know why. I enjoyed it a lot, though. So good. Okay. So, the next two. These were two. The Obsession and The Deception, which were Filthy Rich Americans number two and three. I gave the first one four stars, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but I really enjoyed the series. I ran through the series in a day, I think. Maybe a weekend. Um, by Nikki Sloan. So I really, for some reason, enjoyed this book because it has a lot of political undertones in the hierarchy of billionaires and millionaires and the bourgeoisie of America okay um maybe it's because i grew up around local government politics i don't know and watching way too much political news and listening to way too much political radio when i was younger yo no say um but there are trigger warnings for non-consensual sex in this book um i will put that out there um the main character does basically gets sold off to be a billionaire's wife um yeah but the twists and turns and the the political mind games are what intrigue me about this story that is what intrigues me about this story but so good so good you can't tell me anything um Bree's submission numbers one through three it was a box set and it was like cheaper that way on Amazon for some reason. I think it was on sale. I do not know who told me to read Brie's submission. Maybe it was Vanya. Okay. It's not something I would have just picked up on my own. <laughs> Written by Red Phoenix. And I'm just going to say it is straight BDSM. It is just straight BDSM. Okay. Brie is learning how to be the perfect sub. Okay. The perfect submissive. So it is all the things BDSM. That's really all you need to know. That's it. She sometimes gets a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie to you. And it does not get better in books four through six. But if you just need that like straight kink and you're just like, I'm gonna enjoy the kink for what it is, done well. Apparently, so I had to ask, um, actually it might've been Stephanie told me to read this. I had to ask, apparently the author is, is involved in the BDSM community so because, you know, sometimes you, like, read B BDSM and things and you're like, okay, but, like, like, Fifty Shades was so terrible because, honestly, that person who wrote it is not involved in that community. Okay, well, this person is involved in that community, so she has the knowledge or they have the knowledge to put in these books for safe encounters. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Anyway, next up, whew, girl, finally, a fantasy. And I loved this book, Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Ooh, it was so good. I um, buddy read this with Alicia and absolutely loved it. And it is a King Arthur retelling. It is based at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. And it also has to deal with, it's a King Arthur retelling with fantastical elements, a lot of magic, a lot of things. Um, and it has to do with lineage and um, just so much. It was so, so good. Um, I cannot wait to read the second one. I literally cannot wait to read the second one. Ooh, it was so good. It was so good. So good. Um, the next one is Dirty Love, Lion and the Mouse number two. Um, I think I read Dirty because it's the year before. Um, probably like the end of 2020 which is why number two is on this year's list but I absolutely love the Lion of the Mouse series by Kenya Wright it is so good it features the Bratva which is the Russian mafia but they're known as the Bratva not the mafia I think I finally learned that like the mafia is considered Italian the Bratva is Russian you know like like not everybody's a mafia you know they have their own names Anyway, <laughs> um, but it does feature an interracial couple and it's just good. It's a good story. It's written well. The romance is great and I just really enjoyed the story. It's a good story. Anyway, guys, that's it. See, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. 
Um, those are my favorite reads of 2021. They are so good. Um, if you guys want to hear more about some of these books, um, I would say I talked about them in wrap ups, but that might be a lie. I don't remember when my last wrap up was of 2021. So, so that might be a lie. <laughs> um, I might do two minute book reviews on them. And that might help too. Um, yes. But anyway, guys, that's it for me. So yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and that bell notification button down below. Don't forget to follow me on all social media. Leave a comment below and let me know if you liked any of these books, if you didn't like any of these books, or some other book recommendations that go along with my some of my favorite five star reads of 2021. Okay? Okay. I can't wait to hear from you guys. I miss you guys so much. Um, anyway, that's it for me. So until next time, keep turning the pages. <laughs>